Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to my home studio, and welcome to a fresh, brand new build. What happened to the old build? Nothing. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Uh, this entire channel is about building guitars, and uh, I have, up until this point, for the last 10 years, kept it pretty much one at a time. The problem is, I... I am easily bored and I like changing it up fairly regularly, but I also don't want to waste my time. And I thought, do you know what? I could do a hand build from scratch once a week. So Saturdays will always be a hand build and I can make something based on one of Crimson's kits midweek. And everybody's happy. You know, a lot of you uh, don't ever want to attempt a full build from scratch, even though you might enjoy making, watching me make them, and vice versa. But I enjoy both aspects of this. And in fact, I think kits are the perfect way to get into guitar building. And uh, I mentioned this to the guys back at Crimson, and we said, do you know what? That's a damn fine idea. Let's launch some new kits at the same time. I have here something I'm very, very excited about. Let's open a wrapper. What we have here is something that I have wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, 40 mil Sapili, five millimeter sycamore top, uh, parallel 26 degree angle of the bridge. You've got it. We have got a fanned fret uncut kit. Would you look at that? So, they've done a custom inlay for me at the 12th fret. We've got a gorgeous chunk of flame sycamore, a sapili body, which is uh, 40 millimeters thick. It has the cavities. Uh, what is the scale length? What is the scale length? What are the scale lengths? 27 inches to 25 and a half. So we've got almost baritone. Oh, yes. What do you think? Uncarved necks, you can carve it yourself. You can specify the headstocks. Three aside if you want. What am I going to do? <laughs> okay. Let us, oh, and we've got a control cavity. I might change that, depends on wh where we go. Okay, well, the thing is, I'm really not sure what I wanna build here. I knew this was coming, I knew that it was uncut. I did not know, and still don't really know what I should do. Something for me, something cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. With this blank canvas, bearing in mind I'm about to do it anyway, but in the comments, tell me what you would do. And uh, yeah, I'll reply. Anyway, uh, I, I haven't got the foggiest idea. I really don't know, but uh, I'm looking forward to finding out what this guitar is gonna be. I, I honestly don't know what to do here. So I'm just going to work out where the bridge goes for starters. 27, 25 and a half. So the bridge is going parallel to the final pickup. I'm so glad we've got this. I've wanted to do these for a long time.
Well, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I am not holding myself to the engraving or the shapes or the calves or whatever that is. Uh, I am interested in adding texture somehow, but this might just be a nice, clean, straightforward uh, thing. I'm not sure. I might customize that a little bit, add a second color. I am going to be making a custom bridge. I think I fancy making a custom bridge. These horns are fairly delicate. I like the triangular shape that we've got at both ends. Uh, I think that's quite cool. We're going to be carving away into the mahogany underneath these, this top at least is only five millimeters thick. You can order the uncut kits in, in all of their guises uh, with various different top thicknesses. I think we're going to be offering a modern radius carve as well. Oh, look at that. Holy hell. That's cool. Um, this, this was the very, very first prototype of this kit. Now, the other thing that we are going to do uh, based on what I've just experienced here is we're going to offer various different control cavity shapes and you could also opt to not have any control cavity at all. But all in all, I think this is going to be one hell of a kit guitar. And uh, yeah, if you fancy building a guitar and fancy going more custom and uh, more unique than a standard Strat or Tele, uh, this is the one for you. What's he looking for? <laughs> Blackbirds. Sorry, Nico. No can do. Hey? I think this is pretty awesome. I'm not going to second guess myself too much. I'm happy with the shape. It's pleasant. Uh, it's pretty cool. And it allows me a lot of options to to play a little bit further on down the line. Uh, I'm not going to hold myself to um, anything. These calves could change potentially. I'm fairly happy with that negative space there. I'm wondering about maybe maybe have a see. If I don't, yeah, there we go. If I don't stop and start cutting, I'm just gonna keep on making changes. Let us cut, why don't we? Yes, I am far too lazy to change the blade 
to a, a quarter inch one that would go all the way around without backing up. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Let's move on to the the most used machine in my workshop, the Triton spindle sander. That's the one. Well, here we go. I am very, very happy with this. I think this is the beauty about uh, a kit build. You can fit the neck pretty much immediately. And that is the quality of build of a Crimson Guitar. Uh, kit or, or not. Okay. Um, I'm calling it a day. I am going to next week, middle of the week next week is going to be the next episode of this. We're having a, a weekly episode of a kit build midweek and a weekly episode of the full uh, custom build, scratch build uh, on Saturdays. And next week in this build, I'm going to be carving all of these calves away. The, uh, it's going to make it much, much more attractive, I hope. And then uh, what you just saw on the Triton sander there at an angle, I'm going to be cutting away some of the edges. I need to do that after I've done the original calves because I don't want to change the outline of the, of the guitar. Uh, this is going to make the body smaller in a relatively subtle way and I will sort out the headstock shape next week as well and maybe the control cover control cavity I don't know I'm I'm enjoying this it's going to be a quick build it's going to be over and done before you know it and I would like you to let me know in the comments below what you think of the new format what you think of the build what you think of the new kit and click like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Every little helps. Thank you for your support. Goodbye. Problem is I don't want to stop building it. I, I, I did this to take a break and sort of, not a break, brain space. It's always good to have a project that you can go to to take yourself entirely out of the other project that you're not entirely sure what you're going to do when you're not entirely sure what you're going to do.
Now I want to do this. Not that. Even though I want to do that. Not this. Ah!